One, two, three, let's try. Hi guys, it's Mandy from Mandy Lee Plays, and in this video, I'm going to show you the games that I'm currently playing, the games that I beat recently, and the games that I'm going to play. Alright, so the summer has been kind of slow, but I still had a lot of stuff to play, and I'm going to start with the games that I've beaten recently, um, Animal Crossing, which isn't a game you beat, so kind of sort of I mean it's an ongoing game but I've gotten a long ways through so I guess yeah I beat it <laughs> okay so this one I recently beat and that is Paper Mario the Origami King now I actually streamed the whole playthrough so you could check those out if you want to but needless to say this game was amazing it went above and beyond what I expected and I think it went above and beyond what other people expected too they just don't want to say it <coughs> Arlo and I love it, and it definitely deserves a place in the Paper Mario games that are actual Paper Mario games. I don't know, but you know how the fandom is. If you want to know my thoughts some more, I did a worth the buy for this game, so please check it out if you want to know more. And last game that I recently beat is Xenoblade Chronicles The Definitive Edition. This game. Woo! I loved it. <laughs> it's, I loved it. But admittedly... I do like two more than one, but the reason that I like two is because of the gameplay more and it's more fluid and stuff, but the characters in Xenoblade Chronicles 1 are so much better. Like, I like Rex, but I like Shulk more and, you know, all the other characters and stuff. So while this game is not really up to par gameplay-wise, the story is phenomenal. <sighs> So before the Switch version, I had to whip out this, and man, was it ugly. <laughs> the characters looked questionable, the graphics just were horrible. I mean, to be fair, I give it credit for shoving such a big game into a 3DS um, port, but do not play 3DS or the Wii, just go for the Switch, because damn. <laughs> Once you look at this, you will never go back. Alright, and the next game that I recently beat is a PlayStation 4 game, and that is Persona the Royal. This game was amazing. Now, I do own and I have played the original, so this is way better. Now, there is a bunch of changes in the Royal Edition that you won't get in the original. I mean, they made us buy a $60 game again. They have to put something in there, and I think, personally, it was worth it. Now, I won't say more because that's spoiler territory, but just know, look up requirements if you're planning on beating this game. Because I don't want y'all to be like at 100 hours uh, playtime and you didn't really get the royal part of the royal game. So yeah, a little fair warning. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you what or what or how or anything. Just look it up. Besides that, the game is amazing and there's a lot of changes and quality of life changes too. So pick this up, especially if you haven't played Persona 5. And for the people who have the original and are on the fence, trust me, the changes are worth it. You will thank me later. So yeah. And I think it's on sale. I could be wrong though. <laughs> Alright, and another game that I beat, I don't have physically, which hurts my soul, but it is what it is. And that is Persona 4 Golden. I actually played it right after Persona 5 because it came out on Steam and I was just like, thank you. Thank you. Now, I really wanted it on the Switch, but at that point, you get what you could get. I didn't want to buy a Vita for one game, so I'm so glad I got to experience Persona 4. The characters in there were just like so relatable and I loved them all. Now, if you're going to ask me which one I preferred most, 4 or 5, I, it's kind of like... I like them for their own reasons, so I can't really say which is which. Like, Persona 4 has a lot of good characterization, um, the motives are a little bit deeper than Persona 5, but then, on that note, Persona 5 has more gameplay enhancements and other things and more places to visit, so I can't really say which one I like the best. All I can say is play both of them because that will make the experience better. And honestly, if you know the story of 5 and 4, you would realize that they're kind of 
an opposite take of each story like four is an opposite take of five and vice versa so i appreciate it for that and that's why i can't really pick any which one's my favorite i love them both just i, I love them both <laughs> so yeah i'm hoping for persona 3 it's like i'm going backwards i went from five four and then i want to go to three two one i guess eventually so yeah persona 4 golden edition was amazing highly highly recommend 10 out of 10 and um if you have a pc that could run i don't know the requirements it ran on the vita so if you have a pc that could run a vita game go for it <laughs> that was probably bad i don't know so those are the games that i recently beat now on to the games that i'm currently playing so first we have a 3ds game yes that thing is still relevant play it uh we have persona q shadows of the labyrinth now this game is low-key hard <laughs> like damn i'm like on normal i'm getting wiped left and right so this is just like persona q2 but without the persona 5 cast in here this one just includes the cast of the fourth game and the third game so this one's a digital game but it's on my 3ds and that is shimagami tensei 4 yes i picked it up there's a lot to soak in uh, and to get used to i haven't really played as much i picked it up one night and i'm planning on playing tonight but it's very different <laughs> i could just say that but um yeah i'm excited to see where it goes the game that i'm currently playing is story of seasons uh friends of mineral town it came with a little guidebook comic thing on the inside it's actually very very cute I love details like this and I got a cute little strawberry cow with it which is adorable I didn't ask for it but it came I ain't complaining it's adorbs I like it <laughs> it's like your typical farming sim so yeah I'm enjoying it well I am playing a lot of games at the same time all right next don't judge me um I got a fairy tale for PlayStation 4 I know anime games are not the best, which is weird because there's a whole genre for Japanese RPGs. I, I don't know. And the last game on the list that I'm currently playing is Altir Ryza Ever Darkness and Secret Hideout. Since the second one's coming out, I might as well play the first one. And I'm also streaming it, so check out my streams if you uh, like this game or if you want to know more. And that is it. Alright, so tell me in the comments down below what games are you playing, what games have you beaten, and what games are you planning on playing in the future. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel at your Nintendo content. You can also find me on my Twitter at Mandy Lee Plays. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Stay safe and as always, play a good game. Bye!